Welcome, everyone. It's great to be with you. Uh, thank you for joining us for the February 10th, 2021 edition of The Rundown. I'm Ware Wendell, and I am the Executive Director of Texas Watch. Texas Watch is the group that fights at the Texas Capitol on behalf of consumers and protects our courts. Uh, we're the only group that does those two things, and uh, we are so lucky to be able to do that with you. Uh, you heard in the last rundown, I'm joined by an excellent team. Christian Benavides is our digital content director. Kelly Taft is our development and operations director. And we're now joined by not one, but two wonderful legislative interns. So I want to give them a shout out. Uh, first of all, Harrison DeBose and Brandon Toby are on the team this session. They're both extremely talented students, and they're helping us with a lot of our research and helping to produce the content that you see. So they're making huge contributions uh, to the fight for justice, and we are so fortunate to have them uh, helping us. You know, we take on big corporate lobbyists with a lot of money and frankly, with a lot of lobbyists, and it's great to have such a, a closely knit team of people who are committed to the cause of justice. Okay, a lot's happening at the Capitol. And we now have House committees appointed. So that's exciting because that means that the Capitol can now start hearing bills on both sides of, of the Capitol in both chambers. I want to highlight for you today two uh, committees that we pay a lot of attention to year in and year out, because a lot of the, the bills, a lot of the legislation that we care about at Texas Watch and that you care about goes through those two committees. So the first is the Judiciary and Civil Jurisprudence Committee, and that's a kind of a mouthful. So we call that the JCJ Committee for short. If you say JCJ, you're going to sound like a like a capital insider. Uh, we have a lot of wonderful uh, representatives on that committee, and I want to call out uh, the, the chair and the vice chair of the committee. Jeff Leach is the chair. Um, he is a Republican from Plano and also representing Allen, Texas. Uh, and then Yvonne Davis, Representative Yvonne Davis is the vice chair of the JCJ committee. Uh, she represents parts of South Dallas, DeSoto, um, many different areas, and uh, we really look forward to continuing to work with both of them uh, to help protect hardworking Texas families. So a lot of the bills that go through the JCJ committee are focused on, as you might imagine from the title, focused on our courts and our civil courts. So not criminal matters, but if you have a, a civil legal dispute, so a contract dispute, or somebody hurts you, um, in the law, we call that a tort case, T-O-R-T, -T, a tort case. Um, those bills are going to go through the JCJ committee. So we spend a lot of time there because, as you know, at Texas Watch, we hold sacred the Seventh Amendment right to trial by jury. Uh, we believe that the right to trial by jury, the ability to be judged by your peers through our courts, is the single best uh, consumer protection that we have for Texas families. And... Um, the founders of the United States and the founders of the state of Texas understood that very clearly. It's in the Declaration of Independence, uh, both for the United States and for Texas. Uh, they held that up as one of the main ways that we protect our liberty and that we hold power to account. So we're very excited to work with all of the members of the JCJ committee and uh, getting to know some of the new members of that committee. Secondly, it's no surprise to you that we focus a lot on the House Insurance Committee because for over 20 years we have been advocating for the rights of Texas policyholders. Frankly, there aren't a lot of groups out there who are standing up for policyholders, especially in the line of insurance that's called property casualty. And so for us, that means homeowners insurance or auto insurance. These are the types of insurance that, frankly, we don't have a choice about. I mean, we have to buy these lines of, of insurance. It's not a free market as it is in, in other areas of the economy. So if you want to drive on the roads legally, and you should, uh, you have to buy that auto insurance policy uh, by state law. And likewise, unless you own your home outright, and how many of us do, if you've got a mortgage, um, you, you've got to get that homeowner's insurance policy. The bank is going to make sure that you are insuring the property uh, because it's their collateral. You know, if you default on your mortgage and they have to uh, repossess your home, if you will, um, 
they want to make sure that that home is is in good shape and that it's been insured. So, so again, these are not your typical products where you can choose, oh, I want that insurance policy. I don't want that. No, we have to have it. That makes us essentially captive consumers. Um, yes, we have a choice in the insurance companies that we choose to buy those policies from, but it's not like deciding, do I want a television or not? And also, it's not as easy as shopping for a television where you can walk into Best Buy or any other store and kind of look at the TVs up on the wall and go, that one's got better um, brightness or that one has better contrast. Um, with insurance policies, it's harder to get your hands around the coverage that you're getting. So I want to shout out a wonderful tool by a great state agency uh, that punches way above its weight, the Office of Public Insurance Council, OPIC for short. Um, this is the state-funded consumer uh, agency, if you will. Um, Melissa Hamilton is the public insurance counsel over there. She is doing a wonderful job leading the agency. They don't have a huge staff, just like we don't have a huge staff at Texas Watch, but they do a wonderful job of advocating for consumers and policyholders all across the state of Texas. So I encourage you to check out their website, um, and we should put that up in the in the chat for you. And um, again, it's OPIC, O-P-I-C, the Office of Public Insurance Council. On their website, they have a great policy comparison tool that allows you to select different companies that you might be uh, looking into and seeing where the gaps in coverage are. Okay, this policy gives me more coverage here. This other one, it, it gives me coverage in an area that I really care more about for whatever reason. Also, Help Insure is another great tool that's been jointly developed by the Office of Public Insurance Council and the Texas Department of Insurance. So OPIX policy comparison tool, that's where you wanna start um, and it's gonna help guide you through the process of shopping for insurance and then help insure as well, which is a fantastic resource. And we'll make sure that we put that in the, in the chat as well. So the House Insurance Committee is going to be led this session by Dr. Tom Oliverson. Um, he represents, he's a Republican who represents the Houston area, and he's been very active in the past in, in standing up for patients in, in insurance billing disputes. And we look forward to working with him to help protect the equivalent of patients, right? The policyholders here on, uh, on these property casualty matters. So we're very excited about working with his office. And then Representative Hubert Vogt is the vice chair of the House Insurance Committee. He's a Democrat representing parts of Houston and um, has been a longtime champion for consumers. And so we look forward to working with both Dr. Oliverson and Representative Vo and all the members of the committee. And we have some new members on the committee uh, this session, and we're very excited to talk with them about insurance issues and how they can help protect your pocketbook, how they can make sure that you're getting the coverage that you need at a price that's fair. Um, we want insurance companies to make money. We want them to be in the market. We want them to be able to pay claims. We just don't want them to make excessive profits. Because again, this is not a free market. This is not a typical product. You're being forced to buy that product, so we need more oversight. An interesting fact for insurance nerds like me, as compared to some other products that are regulated primarily at the federal level, insurance is actually regulated at the state level. There's a federal law called uh, McCarran-Ferguson that devolves or pushes down regulation to the state level. So those state legislators who represent you have the primary responsibility of protecting you when it comes to the term of art is the business of insurance. So they're, they're the front line for you in making sure that your pocketbook is protected, that a good product is being offered that's not going to mislead you, um, and that's being offered at a fair price. And of course, we we count on the Texas Department of Insurance as the main regulator to, to do their job, but um, the Texas legislature is the one who sets the policy for the state. So we look forward to working with them on that. So let's talk about insurance. Um, we, we have a number of insurance issues that we want to work on this session. We're identifying problems in the marketplace right now, and they have, they have even more significance this session because of the pandemic because of the economic pressures that we're all under right now. These are economic pressures that are caused through no fault of our own. I mean, the economy has been devastated by the pandemic, uh, reduced economic activity. And so we can't afford to overpay for our, our insurance. We never can, but that's especially the case right now. There's a bunch of bills that I wanna talk about. I'm gonna talk about some of them in the next rundown. So tune back in for that. Uh, but for today, I wanna highlight two for you. 
The first is House Bill excuse me, 359 by Representative Charlie Guerin. You remember me talking a bit about that in our last uh, rundown. This is the bill that says if you have been extra responsible, if you have paid more money to protect yourself, if you're hit by somebody who is either uninsured, and we know we have a lot of uninsured drivers in Texas, or underinsured, they may have the minimum uh, insurance limits, you know, on board through their coverage, but the damages that they cause you when they hit you are far beyond that. So this is called UM, uninsured motorist coverage, or UIM, underinsured motorist coverage. If you have paid more to get that policy in place, there's a wrongly decided Texas Supreme Court case called Brainerd. That's the name of the case that essentially says that you have to go to court and get a determination in court before your insurance company has to pay you for the policy that you've taken out. Now, remember, you've already paid them your premiums. And also remember that insurance companies are in the business of adjusting claims. They are professional claims adjusters. I mean, they've got adjusters on staff where they hire adjusters to come out and to look at the car if it's an auto case um, and figure out what the damage is, to look at the medical bills um, if you've got a, an injury to your body uh, and to determine who is at fault, uh, to assess liability and to determine what the damages are uh, and, and then to pay the claim. I mean, that's their job. Uh, sometimes they think their job is just taking our premiums. Sometimes they don't like paying the claim. It's a two two step. It's a Texas two step here. You take our premiums. They need to be fair, accounting for the risk. Uh, but then you need to pay the claim when the information is presented to you, insurance companies. And so Representative Guerin's bill, House Bill 359, is going to make that process a lot smoother, a lot quicker. And it's not going to require you to go to court to, to have your insurance company to pay out on your underinsured or uninsured motorist claims. Fantastic bill. It's going to protect Texans all across our state. Uh, it rocketed out of the House Insurance Committee last session. Uh, I've never seen a bill move that quickly. Um, it then passed through the House floor with over 100 votes, very strong bipartisan support. We're a nonpartisan group. We work with everybody, but I highlight that for you because members from both sides of the aisle said this is going to help the families in my district, and this is great policy. Uh, and then it stalled in the Senate, and we want to see that bill uh, taken up in the Senate, given due consideration. We think it's a great bill. We want to make the case in front of the Senate as to why it should become law and why it should go to the governor's desk so that Governor Abbott can then be um, given the opportunity to sign that bill into law to protect Texas families all across the state, every corner of the state. Uh, it would be a great way to help us get what we paid for and make sure that the insurance companies pay what they promised. So you can find out more about that on our website. I'll talk about our website in just a second. The second is House Bill 1131, 1131 by Representative Travis Clardy, a Republican from East Texas, Nacogdoches area. Fantastic bill that's going to protect you um, when you're faced with an auto repair. So we have seen for years now that insurance companies are bullying some uh, body shops, the repair facilities that you take your car to when you've been in a wreck. And, and they're forcing them into making unsafe repairs by using cheap parts, often foreign aftermarket parts that weigh less. They don't fit your car as well. And they've been proven in crash tests to not perform as well in a crash test. Um, think about that. I mean, that's the whole point of that part. Yes, you want your car to run, but God forbid if you're in a collision, you want that part to protect you as well and not to fail. So this bill would say that you have the right to use quality parts um, and to go to a quality repair facility, a quality body shop of your choice, to not be steered to the insurance company's preferred facility because they have financial arrangements with some body shops these days. And that may not be disclosed to you always. Uh, you wanna know who you're dealing with. So for me, I wanna go to an independent body shop that's gonna shoot straight with me. It's gonna tell me what it really takes to repair my vehicle. I'm kind of a gearhead. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a nut about cars. Uh, so my car matters a lot to me. I want it repaired right. I want them to follow all of the manufacturer's guidelines and requirements in terms of how to make that repair safely. 
obviously the manufacturer is going to know best. They designed and built that car. And so House Bill 1131 um, simply says, let's do those three things. Quality parts, quality repair shop of your choice, quality repair following manufacturer guidelines. Uh, because safety is job one. Safety matters more than anything for all of us in our cars So, and our trucks. You're going to see a video, I think we're releasing it today actually, uh, that tells the story of the Sibachan family who were trapped in a burning vehicle because their their car had its roof glued on instead of welded in over a hundred spots as the as the original manufacturer said a body shop before they purchased the car had done that in repairing hail damage and so in in a wreck when a a big pickup truck hydroplaned and hit them head on they were driving home for the holidays their car failed catastrophically in ways that it should not have trapped them inside of the car the car is catching on fire. Um, they were dragged to safety um, by by a very brave young man. Um, otherwise, who knows? But they sustained very serious injuries, life-threatening injuries requiring a lot of rehabilitation. A very brave um, couple. They they really represent the best of Texas, and um, and so it tells their story, and it also talks about this problem from the perspective of the leading body shops, uh, the members. The men and women who care about safety above all. And so we're working closely with members of their group. It's called the Auto Body Association of Texas, ABAT for short. Um, they are leading the way in this fight for safety and getting insurance companies pushed out of the body shops and getting them back in the business of paying claims, which is their job. Write the check. Uh, don't tell the repair professionals how to do their job. They know what they're doing. Um, so House Bill 1131 is a fantastic bill by Representative uh, Travis Clardy. And you can learn more about both of these bills on our website. So go to texaswatch.org. Uh, you're gonna see some of it featured on the main page, but go to the projects tab. It's right there in the center. And as you drop down, you're gonna see two projects that are relevant here. One is hashtag safe roads. That's where you can learn about Representative Clardy's bill, the safe repairs bill. Remember safe repairs save lives. Um, House Bill 1131, so you can find it there under Safe Roads, or you can go to hashtag insurance reform, where you're going to see us talking about a number of insurance priorities, and you can see Representative Guerin's bill, House Bill 359, the one dealing with uninsured and underinsured motorist claims, making sure you get paid quickly and paid in full on those. Um, so you can find information there. Um, you can take action through both of those pages. You can also go to our ACT page. So up there at the very top, you'll see a, a, a tab that says ACT. That's where we have all of our actions. So when I say actions, I mean uh, petitions, letters that you can sign on to. We make it very easy for you to contact your legislator, and it's so important for you to do so. We've set an initial goal of getting a 1,000 letters into the Capitol right now. Importantly, we want those letters to go to the right people. So we want them to go to your representative. You are their constituent. You're the one who hired them to go do this job in Austin, and uh, they need to hear directly from you. So all you have to do is just type in your name, type in your mailing address. It will automatically generate for you your state representative, your state senator. Even if you don't know who it is, um, we make it easy for you. And um, you can see the, the letter that's pre-populated there. You can alter it, change it, modify it any way, uh, put it in your own words. Uh, but then just click send. It takes, truly, it takes a minute or less. And if they can hear from hundreds and thousands of you, um, I can tell you this having worked in both, both chambers of the Capitol, both in the Texas House and the Texas Senate, it matters. When they get flooded with letters and phone calls and faxes from folks, um, it helps them understand that people feel very intensely about this issue, that this matters to them. Safety matters. Justice matters making sure that your pocketbook is, is protected, especially during the pandemic, uh, from insurance companies raiding it through excessive premiums. So I'd highlight those two actions for you. I'd ask you to take uh, action now, if you can, and um, you'll be given the opportunity to invite your friends to take action. Please do so. Send a quick email, post it on your social media channel. Tell everybody, hey, it just takes a minute to do this and it makes a big difference. It could save you thousands of dollars. Um, in the case of the safe repairs bill, it could save your life. Because right now, how do you and I know if our car has been repaired safely? 
I mean, they give us our car or our truck back and it looks nice. I mean, all the body panels have been straightened and buffed and the paint is shiny and, and it looks like the car is great, but we don't know unless and until we're in another wreck. We don't want that to happen if that vehicle is going to perform for us safely. So it could save your life, it could save you money. Um, so please take action. All right. Uh, let's talk about where you can find us. You can find us everywhere, hopefully. Uh, obviously, we're here on Facebook. I'm talking to you right now via Facebook. Make sure that you're liking and following us on Facebook. Uh, so take a second to make sure that you show up there. We have over 15,000 people um, who are in our world as part of the Texas Watch family on Facebook. We're very proud of that, but we want to grow that number uh, throughout session. Remember, you are an influencer. You have a powerful voice, so please use it on behalf of working families. Um, take a look at your friends list on your social media channels, and please invite them to like us if you think that the work that we're doing is valuable to you and if it could be of interest and of help to them. Um, it only takes a second to do that, to invite them uh, to become our friend as well. We have a YouTube channel. Make sure that you've subscribed to YouTube. We do so much through video these days, and uh, that's where you can catch all of our videos as soon as they are released. So look us up on YouTube. We're on TikTok. Uh, Christian is our messenger on TikTok. He is wonderful on TikTok. So if you're in the TikTok world, follow us on TikTok. Uh, we have an Instagram channel. We are on Twitter. We have a podcast. Some of you are going to be hearing this as a podcast in a day or two. Uh, we're everywhere on, on uh, you get your podcast. So wherever you get your podcast, type in Texas Watch. And the name of the podcast is Texas Tells, T-E-L-L-S. You can find us there. So please invite your friends to like us. Um, I'm going to be back with you here in just a few weeks to let you know where we are on all of these bills. With your help, we can get these bills um, through the Texas legislature onto the governor's desk so that he can be given the chance to sign them into law and they can start helping you and your family and your neighbors and your friends. So we're going to do this together. Thank you, everyone. We appreciate everything you do in the fight for justice. We appreciate everything you do to help workers uh, and to keep us all safe and to stand up for our constitutional rights. We'll be back with you soon. Take good care.